feel like no matter how hard you work, you can't seem to get ahead in life? Well, that's all about the change. So you're working hard and it doesn't seem to be paying off. Man, I feel you. And I wish I could tell you that that feeling goes away at some point, but I've reached some pretty high pinnacles and take it from me, no matter how far you go, no matter how much you achieve, there's still gonna be another mountain to climb and there's still gonna be more things that you wanna achieve. And those things require work. I know there's a sector of people on the internet who will tell you that you can get to these things without any action or without working hard. And I'm not saying they're completely wrong or completely off base, but take it from me, you're not gonna meditate your way into becoming a millionaire or fulfilling whatever dream you're chasing right now. So that work ethic that you've built for yourself is a great asset, but the feeling you're feeling right now, that feeling like you'll never taste the fruits of your labor, that's because you're directing all of your hard work, all of your energy, all of your passion into the wrong areas. I mean, the whole reason you're watching this is because you've reached the end of your powers. You feel like you've tried everything to change your situation, to make it better, to bend it to your will, and you're burned out. You can't do it anymore. You feel like you've left no stone unturned. You've outworked the competition. You've listened to the experts, and still you're not getting what you want. And you've probably pointed some fingers. It's their fault their fault. Why aren't you getting the opportunity that you've worked so hard for, that no one else is willing to work for, it seems? Why are others getting the opportunity that you really and truly deserve? Well, that's just it. The reason you aren't where you want to be is because you're working to try and change your situation rather than putting that energy and effort into preparing for when your situation changes. Think back over the course of this situation you're dealing with. You've probably missed a few opportunities, probably underperformed when there was a chance given to you, yes or no. Have you been perfect throughout this pursuit? Probably not. And I'm not saying that's necessary, but had you been better prepared for the opportunity when it came, you could have better capitalized on it. But instead, you were so focused on the circumstances and trying to will your way through it, trying to make lemons out of lemonade, trying to make lemon, trying to make lemonade out of lemons, when really you could have been concentrating on perfecting your skills for when your time does come. I feel like you guys aren't catching my drift. So let's try a story. What should the main character's name be? Let's let's call him Bill. All right, so you got Bill. Bill's a great dude. Everybody likes Bill. Nice guy, you know, has a good job, makes good money. He's done well for himself. He's successful, except for one thing. He can't seem to get a girlfriend. No matter what he does, he goes to bars, he goes to bookstores, coffee shops, grocery shopping, and approaches women, but none of them seem to like him. At least not in that way. But Bill is persistent. Bill is locked in on the goal of getting a girlfriend. So he keeps approaching women. Wherever he's at, he's gonna approach more. He's gonna say the same things, and eventually, one girl is gonna give him the opportunity. And he does this for years, two years, three years, four years, five, and gets the same results over and over again. And he wonders why the women of this world are so cruel. Why won't they give him a chance? If they just got to know him, they'd probably love him like everybody else. And he's right. So where's the disconnect? He's working hard, he's putting himself out there, yet he keeps getting slapped in the face metaphorically, and at that point, probably also literally, with no results. What's he doing wrong? Well, there's one small detail that Bill is missing. You see, Bill says his goal is to get a girlfriend, yet he doesn't learn from his rejections. He doesn't learn from his failures. He believes he's good enough, which he is, but he sticks with the same method. He keeps approaching women out in the open and leaving things up to chance. Now, I'm no dating expert or pickup artist, but that same time and energy Bill spent trying to get a girlfriend could have been spent working on himself, maybe going to the gym, maybe researching fashion, or doing whatever you need to do to increase your chances of naturally attracting women. So how does that relate to us? See, just like Bill, we spend a lot of time focused on the obstacles in our way. And we wonder why we keep smashing into them. And we think if we run into them harder, eventually they'll break. I feel like that's what we've been taught growing up. And that's how it seems to happen for others. But in truth, what I've found to happen and what things that I'm going through right now are showing me is that trying to change your current circumstances 
by interacting with them directly creates a vicious cycle that's hard to escape from. So what can we do so that our story doesn't end up like Bill's? For me, it's simple, play the long game. Bill was chasing overnight success. He was looking for that perfect girl who was going to take him and make his dreams come true. He was allowing outside factors to control whether or not he was going to succeed. Had he invested in the long game, and worked on himself to become more attractive, his goal would have been a natural byproduct of that. It might have taken more time initially, but in the end, he wouldn't have spent years without getting any results. So I ask you, what overnight success are you chasing right now? And what's the long game that you have to commit to to get to your vision? I know I have something to work on myself, so I'm gonna get on to that. I'll see you guys soon.